Hello viewer, I'm Cokeshim25 and today we'll be making the behemoth. It's a large SUV of my own, large off-road SUV of my own design. And uh, yeah, it's uh, three wide by nine long by five tall. And I'll be showing you how to build this in both vanilla and with some cool rotted uh, details. So let's get started. What you will want is stairs of any kind. You could go nether brick or dark oak. It's an off-roader, has these large wheels. You could also just use four blocks if you want. But I chose dark oak because it looks all muddy. It's an off-roader. You want stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, and then a block with stairs and slabs of your choosing. I think I'll go... I'll go sandstone. I don't use sandstone a lot. There it is. Okay. You'll also need... Iron trapdoor. And both buttons. Come out here and let's start the build. Place an upside down stair, the notch f with the notch facing the front. Place one behind it, where the notch is facing the back. Regular upside down, regular stair facing the back on top of that stair. There, so you get the notches in the four corner. Do that w with a one block gap in between, so two blocks over. You have your front two wheels. Now in the top corner, in the top corner of the of one of the wheels, on the front piece, put a upside down stone brick stair. Do the same on the back. Put a backwards facing upside down stair on the top section wheel, so it's like an axle and suspension, all that stuff. Take a row of three slabs, com top slabs coming off of the off of there. Take, on the front, take a single line of three going back. Put your forward facing upside down there and then your backward facing upside down here on the back. And then your bumper. So the row of three. Make the other two wheels. So you have your frame and you have your wheels. You can you can do two things. You can put three slabs on either side, or what I did over here and what I prefer to do is backward is right behind the front wheel, backwards facing stair, right in front of the back wheel, front facing right to the upstair, and the side and then outward facing right side up stair on our side so I get this little like, lip it's a couch stone couch but meant to be like a little step next you take on top of the row of three on the front and back top of the bumpers a row of cobble a row of whatever solid block you're using for the color I used quartz over there. A row two in the back. You can also. Let me just get rid of that real quick. And we'll. You can also. That was loud. You can also do that. 
and then slab no. slabs so I get like that little bit showing over here I did stairs so you can do like that or like this I don't want on top of the engine you want iron shop doors So if you want, I think I'll go with this one, take a row of three, sandstone blocks right behind the front wheel well, and on top of the stairs on these sides, solid block, solid block, stairs on up right side, upside down stairs facing outwards on top of the rear wheel, for the wheel well. For we will the arch and whatnot. Um. Okay, so the back two blocks on either side. This back stair in the back block. Put a full block. Then skip over the stair, the front stair with the rear rear wheel, and on the south block right above the rear part of the step salt block okay let's do our buttons button on the outside of the two little pillars you just made and button and a stone button on the front part of the back two you just did wooden buttons on the outside of the four corner blocks not the front not the front edge just the outside you can clear. Um, get what receipt you want to use. It can be the same as what you used for the wheel. And so, in the very in the front gap, just in front of the two pillars, stair. Skip a block in between the. Skip the block in between the pillars. Then where next to the rear stairs, right side up forward facing stair, they will not connect luckily, and skip the space in the back. Next, get whatever glass you want, I think black looks the sharpest, and on top, on so, in between, in the little gap between the two, two rear thing, rear two long pillars, a block of glass in between the two long pillar and the one block pillar on top of the stair on both sides put it then put a little C, sh C or U shape bit of glass around on the blocks around the uh, stair including the corners so this is what it looks like so far Take white or gray um, stained glass panes, leather, item frame, no, red carpet, sea lanterns, glowstone, whatever, or just any like, white block you want. Sign and yeah. oh, also chest. Chest is completely optional. So put the chest in the back. So it's like a little crate you're hauling on the corner pieces of the C, the front corner pieces on the sides. Put a white stained glass pane so it connects. Put a lever on that facing upwards. There's your side mirrors. I have a frame on the front outer two bits of on the front outer two blocks you put in them. Just put 
where are you just for lights on the back iron frame iron frame carpet red carpet and rotating tool they're like on the outside vertical okay so take your sign go to the third row and on the left side go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen gaps behemoth then on the right side it's a little easier just type behemoth capital B lowercase everything else and hold the spacebar until the does it move there you go on the back row on top of the lights you can put signs in the middle put do the shift and then forward slash so you get that vertical line hold space until it stops moving go back six one two three four five six the little underscore underscore one two three four space boop Two, three, four, five, six. Forward slash. Uh, dash dash forward slash. And just vertical bar space, vertical bar space. So it's like the little door. You can also wait. You can also get rid of one light and put a spare wheel which does not look bad looks pretty cool I'll leave it at that now you need a ladder If you're using slabs, you do not need carpet. If you're using stairs, you can put carpet. And now we just need uh, take your slabs and cover the top of the body, apart from the last three blocks. Put forward facing right side upstairs to get a little spoiler. And there you go, there's your off-road vanilla custom SUV. You can do it multiple ways, there's tons of customization options. You can put sign a sign here for like a door. You can go without the sidestep. I prefer the sidestep because it's such a tall vehicle. Plus it adds away like the ugly bits. Um so yeah. That's how you do the non-world edited version. And I'll be right back after I get done making a copy of this over to show you how to do the world edit. to do a world edit part okay so I'm back uh, and I've built a similar cobblestone colored one and as you may notice I've done something different if you're using cobblestone you can do a furnace on the front for your intake to moth like a moth I didn't take you know I also did a stone slab behind the eye instead instead of the second the back instead of the back iron Trapdoor, did the little anvils, and it's like a ram air hood. What you could do also do is light your carpet on top of the stairs. You know, what, maybe, maybe on the furnace too. Yeah, you got like a ram air hood. Also, you can. Maybe this will work. Mm. 
Mm. You can put, you can put anthems with sea lanterns on top, and that way you can do like spotlights, LED deep, or the, or like an LED bar. Okay, so okay, so okay, so on to the world of that What you need? Any block that you know the idea of? Stone's the easiest at one. The idea of whatever slab you're using for the roof, or for three. This is only if you have rolled it. With an axe, ladder, rails. Cover the roof in from the back to blocks of the windshield, the two windows, all the way to in front, all the way to the covering the top of the front two blocks of this two long side pillars where it meets the block ladder no. you can probably do it in the back too no. and rails now you can either leave it like that or you can go that personally don't like how that looks. So what you'll do I put the letter wrong. Yeah I guess we can do it then. So, so take your reels, put them like that. Maybe we can Yeah. Okay, so it's completely up to you how you choose to do it. Just like ladders above the two pillars. Select all the stone. Slash just replace one. What is it? 443. Four, so slash replace one. 44. Four, three. You need fast for this. I'm a dummy and didn't put it. Let's do that. Let's try that again. You can also just go to that right there. Looks perfectly fine. But for this one, I think the full one will look better. Slash slash fast slash slash replace one forty four. Okay, you may have to like reset login, but there you go. You've got floating rails held up by ladders, and it looks like a roof rack, which I think is pretty cool. And it actually could function as a roof rack. Wonder if this will break it. It does not break it. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. <laughs> that looks ridiculous, but okay. There. <laughs> <coughs> there you go, you have a functioning roof rack. You can put, just put a bunch of minecarts with chests on top of it.
Yeah, it won't look. It's cool. But okay. So there you go. You have your two. Um, behemoth with and without roll of it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you want, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Subscribe for more, and at three likes, I would do in. I would do another vehicle tutorial. Well, it's gonna be a surprise.